I'm up at City Hall. They were supposed to do a live feed up here, but something happened. They took the tents down. So I'm gonna see what they talk. What they when they supposed to have a press conference? So what y'all gonna do? Talk about it up there? Uh, probably, yeah. Oh, all right. I'm up here. There go Jeff Abel. Is that Jane Miller? No, that ain't Jane. I'm sorry. That's Jeff Abel, though. What's up, Jeff? I know you hate little, and that's Joy Lola Polo. Oh, no, 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 no. We don't want to do the Happy New Year in the. We're talking about crime and justice, right? Yes, sir. We're talking about crime and justice I mean, right we here. We can still say Happy New Year. Yeah, we are. But we want to get to handle our business. That's what we're here for. It was canceled, though. It was canceled? Man, why? Because of what's happening in D.C. Oh. <laughs> Real bad, huh? Well, since I have Fox 45 here, y'all been knowing me for how long? Uh, not long enough. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the jokester here, all right? What's up? What's up, man? Shorty. No, I'm what's, what's the name of your me, Shorty, me. I'm my own program. You Tell made them the news today. who I made the news. Oh, I saw I'm... you online. Oh, you did? Well, well that's y'all online right now. So look. Yes. Uh, my name is James Joseph Owen Steele. You and me, you already know me. I feed you. I'm the dude to do the barbecue. Uh, so listen. All right, listen to that story. Uh, How you doing, on, sir? Uh, I want to get on the news today. I got something to say to help the man. Tell them. That's Jane Lollapalo. She's with Crime and Justice. That's Jeff Abel. He was Fox 45. That's WJZ. That's all the media out here that you need to see. You know what I'm saying? That's Fox 45. They canceled that little event. See, I got my mask on today. Now, mainstream media down here, Fox 45. Fox 45. Joe Lollapalo been knowing about this since I started this. All right. How uh, you doing, officer? Mike, Chuck! I got my mask on today, so we don't have no problems. That's WJZ. They did the first story on me in 1997 with Richard Sher. Adam May did the story on me at uh, Spring Grove Medical Hospital when I was talking about the opioid abuses and abuses of inmates, and WJZ never played that story. Like I said, I'm going to talk about the FCC violations, because these cameras... Shit gonna change. Joy Lola Polo and Jeff Abel been knowing about this for the longest. Um, I'm sorry, Jeff. Je Jeff. <laughs> he ain't gonna eat. <laughs> I'm gonna be rude in a minute. <laughs> Mr. Abel. Mr. Abel. I'm, I'm trying to be polite here. All right, I'm really trying hard. All right, I'm, I'm sorry for interrupting your conversation, but I got to make the best of the time when I catch them in public, all right? When I catch them in public, I got to make the best of it. Mr. Jeff Abel, how much information did I put in your hand physically talking about the corruption here in Baltimore? About 10 years ago? No, 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 about six about uh, six months. Remember at the YMCA? The event at the YMCA with uh, Brandon Scott? No, 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 I got, you want me to show you the video? Do you want me to show you the video, yes or no? I handed it to you at, at his event. It was at the YMCA. I hear you at a lot of events, but I don't always see No, no, no. Me and you sat there. They, I was quiet that day. I handed you some paperwork. Remember at the station when y'all had the event with, uh, what, um, Brian Vaith when he ran for governor? Brian Vaith. He ran against Governor Hogan in 2014, and I was on the ballot with him. Our ballot was about ending this discrimination and ending this corruption in Baltimore City. Right, right, right. So I just want to make sure that we all on the same page when we're doing this. So when I say what I say about people, there ain't no he say, she say things, right? Now what your station did with the information ain't in your ain't in your power, right? That's your station manager and your station decisions. David Sinclair, you feel me? Mr. Smith. All right? He's not in our newsroom. He owns it. So that's all I'm doing is establishing the premises here. Now WJZ and Fox 45 and the same thing. Because when I got locked up in 2011, 10 years ago, nobody just sat here and stood up for me. I ain't locked up no more. I got to fight for my own freedom. 
You feel me? So we talk about city hall, we talk about crime and justice, and it ain't gonna be just us. No. Now, Joy, do your job. No. I'll try my best, Jordan. If you try your best, then that means that we need to go to the grand jury and the FCC for the violations that your station has knowledge of. Your station manager don't want to tell the story? That's not my problem. Rachel Aragon accepted plenty of information before Brandon Scott sat in that seat. So in the 2021 session, Senate Bill 374, that means access to the grand jury. So this videotape is part of that, access to the grand jury. So when we say what we say, whatever I gave you, go find it. Blow the dust off of it. Make sure that you got it. Got it? What's up? When I say what I feel about the media, I don't want no misunderstandings. Brandon and them took that inside because of whatever. You feel me? But let me make this perfectly clear. You do any outside events, I'm going to be there. Straight up. My son! How you doing?